more than one COOH group. That means only one basic functional group, but more than one acidic functional group. Due to presence of more acid functional groups, then the resulting amino acid will consist of acidic in nature. Such time, the amino acids are called as acidic amino acids. So, these are the two important classifications of amino acids. One, one in one category, essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. In second type of category, we can classify them into neutral amino acids, basic amino acids, acidic amino acids. What is the basis for the classification of amino acids into neutral, basic, acidic? Based on number of amino group and number of acid functional groups present in the molecule. Okay, so only one amine, one acid, neutral, more than one amino group, only one acid group, basic, only one amino group, more than one acid groups, acidic amino acids. So examples for these are most of the amino acids are neutral amino acids only. So we can consider here glycine, alanine, valine, leucine, etc. Whereas basic amino acids are glutamine, arginine, etc. Aspergin. Whereas acidic amino acids are glutamic acid, glutamic acid and aspartic acid. glutamic acid and aspartic acid so i will explain each with one example let us have the structure of this covoh nh2 h ch2 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 nh2 this is the structure of glutamine. What is that? Only one acid but having two amino groups. Come to glutamic acid. We can show it as COOH NH2 H CH2 CH2 COOH. What is this? It is the structure of glutamic acid just identify the structure of glutamic acid only one amino group but more than one acid functional group due to presence of more than one acid or more acid groups the resulting amino acid will be acidic okay and next one the most important statement in solution state in which state in solution state what is solution state means as per our previous phenomenon, all amino acids are polar in nature. Okay, all are polar in nature. Polar chemical substances can easily dissolve in water because water is also polar solvent. Due to this, when we are going to add amino acids to the water, they are going to soluble in water then the resulting uh, compounds are solution state the resulting state of amino acids are called as solution state here in solution state just identify r c h n h2 c o o h this is the general representation of amino acid whatever the amino acid in solution state, what will be the expected one? The hydrogen from acid in the form of H plus accepted by H plus is accepted by nitrogen. The nitrogen with one pair of non non-bonding electrons these non-bonding pair of electrons are going to accept one hydrogen from acid functional group as H plus so this hydrogen in the form of H plus migrating towards the nitrogen then the resulting species will be represented as R C N H 2 converted into N H 3 so when any species can donate its electrons then it will acquire 
positive charge. Similarly, the resulting acid functional group will left as minus. That means hydrogen in the form of H plus migrating towards the nitrogen, then R C N H three plus C O O minus, and this is here. What is this dipolar form of dipolar form of amino acid? What is dipolar form? within the same molecule two different poles are present one is positive pole one is negative pole so this is the reason why it is called as dipolar form of amino acid this dipolar form of amino acid is called as zwitter ion the most important question expected from this chapter is zwitter ion so two marks question uh, the definition expected uh, expected question is what is jwitter ion once again in solution state the hydrogen atom of acid functional group in the form of h plus migrates towards the nitrogen of amine group then the resulting compound we can write as r c n h 3 plus c o o minus the formed dipolar form of amino acid is called as jwitter ion Actually, these Jwitter ions are amphoteric in nature. Amphoteric character. Jwitter ions shows amphoteric character. What is amphoteric character means dual nature. What is dual nature? The Jwitter ions can react with acids, can also react with bases. This type of character is called as amphoteric character, dual character. Reacts with acids as well as reacts with base. So, amphoteric character of Jupiter ion. So, this is about introduction to amino acids. The general structure of amino acids. Different 20 different types of natural amino acids. And classification of amino acids, essential, non-essential amino acids and neutral, basic, acidic amino acid. The most important uh, topic is this. What is that? In solution state, the amino acid generally exists in dipolar form. The dipolar form of amino acids is called as jwitter ions. These jwitter ions generally having amphoteric character that means reacts with acids and reacts with bases.